Hello, I'm live. Uh, yes, well, how bad am I ever doing a broadcast? But here one is. I had an amazing day today. You catch me sans makeup, looking scruffy because I've just come back from a jumble sale. Um, I'm sure there'll be a few people to pop in. I'm wearing one of the things I found today, actually. It's velvet and it'll probably pay for the whole lot. So I'm a happy, happy bunny. I don't know. Aya, Sue, hello, lovely, lovely Sue. <laughs> yes, I'm actually doing a haul. But if I don't do it the minute I get it, hello, Julie, nice to see you here. If I don't actually do a haul the minute I get it, then I've started processing stuff and then it all becomes very difficult. So as promised, <laughs> hi, Lex. Hi, Karen. Um, yeah. Um, so I'm actually wearing one of the things I got today. So I'll try and show you. I can't go back too far because of all the stuff. It looks a bit like a sack tied in the middle. It's not really my thing, but it's velvet and it's vintage Marks and Spencers. It's kind of mid calf length on me. So I would say it's a fairly long coat, um, quite baggy sleeved. I think they probably call these an opera coat, if I'm right. But it's lovely, but it's actually surprisingly warm. And it had its belt with it. Um, I just grab anything that feels like cotton velvet because, well, <laughs> A, I love velvet. Just one little button here, you see, that's all it is. Da, da, da. And a classic, classic 90s kind of that sort of a lining. So you've got a nice big walking split down the back as well. And it's in jolly fine, Nick. So I was very, very happy. I spent a grand total of £42.50. Now, this jumble sale, which popped up, uh, I only found out about it last week, quite local to me, only up the road. Um, absolutely bloody marvellous. I thought, well, I'll pop along there. You know what? There might not be much there because of COVID-19. Yes, have to pop that into the conversation and move it on. Um, and they'd apparently bought, I also saw on the Facebook, they bought back opening it from two o'clock back to one o'clock. Fantastic, thinks I, less of my day spent hanging about. So I head up there to queue for, for around 12-ish because, you know, we've learned. If you don't get there early, you, you can sometimes miss out. So I parked up and thought, well, I couldn't see anyone standing outside, but sometimes people are inside and you've just not noticed. So I potter up. There's people inside having a cup of tea and that. And I think, oh, maybe I, I can sit and wait there. A chap on the door greets me um, and says, oh, um, well, we haven't quite opened yet but you know you can come in now if you like because we don't really want a big rush how quickly did i hand over my 50p entrance oh hello we've got oh we've got some more gosh don't go fast i'm going to fetch a cuppa okay i'll pace myself <laughs> i'll pace myself see hello karen nice to see you i hope everybody's well i think that's always the first thing anyone should say especially at the moment. Hello, Lainey, lovely to see you. I have seen your videos about how you've been getting out further and further afield. You're really brave and well done you. That's fantastic. Hello, Joan. Oh, <laughs> and Sue's back. You've got your cup of tea now, I take it. <laughs> ah, so so this, this find of the leather jacket, it's that lovely leather jacket, velvet coat. It's the old St. Michael's label, isn't it? Which I think we all know and love. Um, I was quite chuffed by that. It says it's a 12, but it's obviously meant to be a kind of voluminous coat, which it's not spectacularly voluminous on me, but you know, and to be fair, I couldn't, I mean, you don't have time to really go over things, but there's nothing so strange being in a jumble sale and there's no one else there. You're pottering about, you can, there's literally piles of clothes they they weren't short of donations thinking i've got this all to myself oh my god ah so the ebay not the ebay gods the the jumble sale gods were definitely looking after me today um a few things have come with a bit of a, a bonus of grass and dust and perhaps the even the odd spidery cobweb but generally everything was in fine fine condition and that you know um cotton velvet just feels different to the more viscosy velvet. It has a, a richer, heavier feel. Nice quality. So I'm very pleased with that. And I don't think velvet ever really goes out of fashion. I know people like it in winter. I'm just going to put stuff in the bag. Um, oh God, empty that on the floor. Why not? But I'll 
kind of starting with the jackets. There's the belt. Don't want to lose that. I'm kind of starting with the jackets first because I've sorted things into order. Um, I'm not rushing to list this stuff because I did a load of repairs yesterday and I need to get that stuff on. But I'm. It's part of my cushion, part of my building up stock, so that I reckon if it this had been next weekend, that actually it wouldn't have been on. Um, I made went to a great length of thanking them very much for running it, <laughs> making sure I was eager to hand over my money. And um, yeah, just very grateful that they were all wearing their plastic gloves and everything. But and I washed my hands before I went into the uh, to the jumble sale, which I've not done before, not right before you go in. Um, but and obviously when I got home. But uh, yeah, I thought this could be the last big one. So I really, really ha and I probably usually I spend about half an hour between getting in through the door and leaving free dust. Yes. Who doesn't need dust? <laughs> um, but I thought, you know what? I really do want stock. I want quality stock, but I'm going to take my time. And although it got a little busier, I mean, I was there until nearly two o'clock, um, which for me is a long time to be in a jumble sale. So, yes, maybe a bit of stockpiling, a bit of not panic buying, but being sensible. Oh, Krispies was uh, cancelled. Yeah, I, I've got a feeling that's what's going to happen. Um, I've got a, a particular jump, a charity shop to hit up next week. Um, and I'm hoping to do well out of that. And I, I think they'll stay open, but I, I honestly don't know what's going to happen. But hey, ho, we make the most. Now, this was lovely. Everyone's got listings going until Tuesday now. Fantastic. Yeah, it's nice to get stuff scheduled. I think it's what we were saying in Seller Ladies yesterday, is, is having stuff sort of ready to go so that if you can't work for a few days or you feel really rough or life gets in the way. So I'm just, I need to give this a saucer of milk. It's not real. It's okay. It's 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 faux, but it's beautiful faux. Um, this was rather lovely. Uh, it's... This make doesn't do well for me. It's a damned expensive brand. I don't know if anyone has. Oh, no. can I do this? I can't see what I'm doing. Uh, there's the camera. Garani Strock. It was quite a big name in the 90s and the noughties. Sorry, it's the fur. It's, I, I haven't got it. I'm just, I'm just sneezing. These are well made. And this is a really nice faux fur. Faux fur. Um, little three-quarter sleeve jacket it's just beautiful it's really lovely it's in a kind of a i'd say it's almost got a tinge of pink about it although it doesn't look like it in the camera it looks more teddy bear kind of beige slightly pinky um some of this stuff is you know may sit it may sit for a while if people suddenly get all summery on us but we're nowhere near at the moment are we ah you had a text from a charity shop oh i see so they called you in and said please spend money yeah I don't know how it's all going to pan out. None of us do. But if there's an opportunity, we kind of have to grab it. Oh, hello, Paula. Nice to see you in here. Um, right, so we're in the jackets. This is ladies' jackets currently. I think this is a good brand. These kind of extremely light puff jackets I've, and coats I've found I do or have done quite well with. I didn't recognise the brand, but it did look quality. Um, uh, uh, oh, there we go. Frederick Anderson Copenhagen, ultra light down. So in spite of it literally being as light as a feather, which it should be if it's got feathers in really, shouldn't it? Um, this sort of thing is obviously going to be handy in, in our unpredictable weather. It says it's a large. Yeah, I suppose it could be. It's not that large, though. Um, it's got a bit of a ding on the front here, and they try to repair that or obviously declare it. Um, but... The price is on these, and I managed to spend £42.50, but what they said was the big stuff, coats, you know, big jackets and things like that are a pound, and the smaller stuff is 50p. So you get better value if you go for the jackets, really. Um, you know, certainly I could have probably grabbed four more, but I only want to grab what I really feel I can sell, and, and that doesn't matter whether it's going to cost me 10p or a pound. I still need to feel it's got some worth to it i suppose it's going to be valuable oh i'm just ignoring the chat chat here Ooh. lex is strangely excited about the appending of crocodiles i wonder why because you've got your little gold treasure treasure pot haven't you <laughs> in a funny kind of a way it, it certainly makes life more interesting but yeah i, I 
I just carry on as normal, really. I'm not very easily put off course. I think it would be true to say of myself. <laughs> I just keep going. This may have been a fail because I grabbed it. It's a long 70s style and it is that a weird grey brown colour. It's, it's a bit icky mucky. It's got nice big wide lapels. It's very 70s. I don't know the brand Skipper. I have no idea. It didn't feel it didn't feel like super high quality, but it's a reasonable size. What I failed to notice until I took it out at home is it's got very bad fading. Uh, you can see it in the camera, very bad fading down one arm. What I may try and do is get a decent polish and see if I can polish that out, but I'm not going to waste too much time and effort on it. Um, it it's quite a good, it's a little bit, a little bit piratey, I think, this one. So the fact that it's a bit bashed up might not be a problem. I wonder if you've got any bonus tissues in here. Yeah, a bit of free virus with your uh, with your jacket. Yeah. Anyway, so that may have been a fail, but you know, when it's cost you a pound, to be honest, I can live with that. It's going to be the odd fail, but it's the overall value I'm looking at here. Oh, you're making sure you had a shotgun. Gonna sit in the roof with your cat, your gun, and a bottle of gin and warn people away. That sounds like a fun afternoon, Lex. You really know how to how to push the boat out. <laughs> Could just see it really. Purple hair flying in the breeze. Now this I picked up. It's metallic y gold. It's it's Peruna linen, but it's got a gold sheen. Ah, you can see it. That's good. It's a really long line jacket, which apparently these are sort of seem to be having a moment again. Um, it's horribly creased because I've literally thrown it in the bag. But I don't think it's got any faults, just one very large brass button. Uh, and it's a size 14, so it's a good size. Well, a reason, a, you know, a fair size. I reckon someone will want that for a wedding, for the races. Are the races still going on next? You were, you were going to the races, or have you been? Or have I just completely got that wrong? I know they're cancelling football matches and, and shit, but I don't know whether it's... I think it's going to be um, a thing they cancel everything. Oh, hello, Kirsten. Hope things are going well. <laughs> How's the shop been? I bet it's been quiet, hasn't it? That's the problem with having a bricks and mortar. I haven't actually been out into the town. I need to pop out over the industrial estate and actually get some cat food. I'm not, I'm not hoarding, I promise. I've just got very greedy cats. Um, oh, it's more fur. It's more fur. I'm loving the fur. I'm just wondering how you do it out, because where's the... You know, it's got the hook. It has the hook here. I'm trying to find where it hooks into. I'm not seeing that. Am I just being very... Ah, it's on the outside. No? Yes. It's on the outside of the... So this sort of hooks in. Oh, Lord. I'm all a bit fingers and thumbs with stuff like this. I find need to hook an eye. There must be another one here. Ah, there it is. Right. Yeah, there it is. This one is more of a grey. Oh, it's pulled on the hook and it's got bent a bit. There we go. Put it back in face. This is more of a sort of browny grey colour. It's, it's kind of cool. It's very neutral. Another shorter jacket. Why am I wrestling with this, really? So I can show you it and it doesn't look like a bag of rag. Really? Mind you, this, this one caught my eye first. Oh, look. Hmm. Now, I can see as I'm holding it up to the light, so I've got the window in front of me, there is actually a little issue where well, there appears to be some thinning. Of, yes, something has nibbled there. I reckon I can get back in there and sew that up. Because, oh, it's got dusty. <laughs> Yeah, shedding fibres, it's faux, obviously, once again. And this one, I don't know the brand, although it sounds half familiar. Wallace Sachs. Wallace Sachs, there we go. And that's a size 16, so that's a good size too. Um, like I say, that little... Yeah, it's literally, literally been nibbled out. Who knew that um, moths would go for... Or maybe it's been caught on something. I think I can sew that up without it being noticed. I'm getting quite handy with a needle and thread. Oh, it would help if I'd actually done the buttons up the right way. <laughs> I could, I could drunken, that drunken thing where you can't get your buttons right. Ah, oh, it is gorgeous though. It's nicely lined. So a little bit of a fix up there. 
I haven't looked any of this up, obviously, because I'm more or less just got back in the door. Oh, dust. Blah. So Paula works weekend nights, and it was really quiet. Yes, I, I'm wondering. I mean, I want to go out tonight and actually have a, you know, have a, a, a brief pint with my husband. That would be nice. Um, we're not anticipating being terribly busy, but we're kind of going out now because there's going to come a point maybe where they tell you you can't go out. So it's kind of like, I need to get out now. I'm going to go cabin fevered and stir crazy. Although Mrs. M will be all right. Caroline will be fine because she's got those amazing masks. <laughs> I've seen a picture with a big black kind of those protective mask things. They look quite sinister. The funny thing was she poo-pooed him terribly when he first bought them. <laughs> and, um, and now it's like, oh, thank goodness he did. <laughs> but that was back in February, you see, and things change, don't they? Don't touch your face. I'm always touching my face. It's all right. I'm, <laughs> I, I don't. Yeah. Oh. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I can, we can walk, Paula, yes. I'm not going anywhere. I'd have to rely on a taxi. Um, if they've all decided not to. Actually, that would be interesting. If we want to order some food, will they deliver food? Mm. Not that I haven't got a freezer full of food, of course. Like this one, this is a lady's jacket. Nice 70s sort of, well, 90s probably, but 70s kind of look. Um, collared jacket. I'm not sure what the brand is, actually. I know I've seen this before. Is it Massimo? It's not... Massimo Tutti, I don't think, because they're a very expensive band that I don't do terribly well with, just so some of these things are, uh, no, try and find the label, okay, I can't find a label, Mossimo, Massimo, anyway, it doesn't really matter, because, you know, when you pay a pay pound for something, it doesn't have to sell for a huge amount to make you some profit, and it's really nice quality leather. Can leather. I, d I just think leather is a good thing. I personally like it. I like to recycle it because, you know, it's respectful to the animal that gave of itself, I feel. Um, it's a natural thing and it's really rather nice. Oh, man. Sorry, that, that last coat was shitting. For, oh, no. Sorry, it's Lex. Yeah. First case of corona. You do mean the virus and not the beer. <laughs> <laughs> and someone hasn't left a, a crate of Corona beer, thoughtfully. No, it wouldn't be there long, would it? Hang on, cream, mushrooms, and rice. Where's that? Where's that coming from? <laughs> is that what? Is that? Uh, is that dinner tonight? Chili. Oh, this is what everyone's having for. Gotcha. It's I've suddenly spotted now. What shall I cook for tea? My husband very sweetly um, cooked yesterday and made me egg, made us eggs Florentine which is very lovely, because food always tastes better when you haven't actually had to cook it. Oh, I've jumped. <laughs> the beer would be great. Much nicer than the virus, I think. We still continue with ladies' jackets. I think there's a theme here. Right, here we go for a mad jacket. I think that's quite cool. It's got, the buttons aren't metal, they are sort of plasticky, but it's one of those rather sort of, oh dear, no, there we go, sort of statementy kind of jackets. Let me just put this out, because I, can't see where I am. There we go. Uh, yeah, it's it's blue and pink, which is not my favourite colour combination, but I think someone will really like that. So we'll go with the double leaf pockets. It's it's by. Does the brand really matter too much? Not really. It's Alexa, which is a good quality brand anyway, and it says Irish tweed pure wool. So I thought good keywords. People like tweed. And. Um, Oh, that looks quite a decent size as well. It's probably 14, 16. Oh, put them on there. Right, this jacket's even madder. Oh, hello, Craig. <laughs> Just back from Tesco's. Oh, my God. Bottle of rum. Yeah, that will do. That will do nicely. <laughs> Bottle of rum sounds jolly good to me. Mind your eyes, folks. Yay. A pound. Each of these jackets worked out at one pound. This, um, I think it's quite an old make, Mansfield, Cludes, London. Um, these incredible buttons are actually metal. <laughs> they are. This is, this is the proper thing. 
Um, there's a couple of little poles, but they're quite easy. You can poke them back in with this. I'm going to be doing a lot of work with my debobbler this week because my, a lot of what I've got is wool of one description or another. And yes, it definitely needs debobbling. But that is so mad. Now, for some reason, there's a buttonhole here and the button has actually been sewn on further down. Weird. Now you have to put that in the right place. So lots of what I'd say sort of spring kind of, see, I always want to pick up these things. Huh. Right, okay, so that is the jackets. They couldn't believe how much I was buying. I did bump into another reseller lady and her name escapes me. She was very, very sweet and she was, um, she was looking for bits and pieces too. She turned up a bit later than me, but she had bags and bags too. So it's like, excellent. And I did say, oh, have a look at the seller ladies and have a look at them. Because <laughs> it's company, isn't it? It's nice. The thing we're not the only one. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, right. Didn't buy many skirts. I've got a lot of skirts on at the moment, but there were a few. This is a Bowden, Bowden skirt in a 18 long. Uh, nice spring floral, cotton, you know, bread and buttery sort of stuff, really. But... The stuff that wasn't big was 50p, so hell, I don't mind. I don't mind going for that. Let's do that. Oh, I might end up keeping this for me, of course. Nice little waist kit. It's it's a gap one actually, but I quite like that, so I might end up keeping that. I think it's one of the perks of the job. The same may happen with these because I'm going to have to look these over and say, find out if they, they are brand new or whether they've been used. There's no tags with them, but they don't look like they've been used. They're kind of like little croppy pyjama bottoms with a camisole top, but they are Ted Baker. They are, however, in a good size, which probably would fit me. So, but I don't know. I, I've yet to do some research and see whether I'll keep them because actually they could be quite useful or whether I let them go. Another skirt. Again, I thought, oh, I quite like this one for me, but it's brown. It's still got a tag on from a charity shop where somebody was trying to get £10 for it. <laughs> I think I know which shop that is. It's one I don't go in much. It's just little cord. Uh, it's Bowden again, another Bowden jumbo cord skirt. Not new or anything. Just sort of things people are wear now onwards, I'm guessing. Oh, and I couldn't resist this one. Nice tweedy material, bit of a kilty vibe going on. And this one is something I do keep a bit of an eye out for. It's Bowden's range, which is the British Tweed by Moon. I really like the quality of this. I don't know how well it will go now. It's a nice little mini skirt. That's actually a 14, so it's going to be oh, damn, be too big for me. But again, it's brown. I don't really wear brown because brown, you know, more brown already. Don't need more of the stuff. I just merge into myself. Oh, who's having a giraffe? I've lost that one. <laughs> Indy, hello, Indy. Oh, the, the, the chat has jumped. Let me just peer in. So excuse the tired makeup list face. <laughs> Some jacket. It was, wasn't it? A bit of an eye popper. They, this was so, so good. I, my hunts aren't normally this fruitful, I can tell you. Double potatoes crispy. <laughs> Oh, she's, your mum's not allowed to leave the house. Your mum's probably, she might be about my age, quite possibly. <laughs> I think she's allowed to leave the house, bless her. Hi, Indy. Uh, yeah, sure, do watch it back. Um, I've got loads more to go, so uh, don't worry. Uh, huffing and sighing, oh dear. Yes, they were having a laugh, and it's, it's a particular shop that I don't go in because that's why. Pointless. <laughs> Having a laugh. Uh, right, I didn't get many trousers today. I picked up these. They're Zara Woman. I don't often go for Zara, but Zara Woman is their more premium line. It has these nice sort of copper tone button fastening and their wide legs. They're very summery. Uh, obviously quite a recent one. Recent trousers. And as far as I can tell, without stains. Which for that colour is always a bloody miracle. No, don't touch face. See? There we go. Leather trousers, because I will pick them up when I see them. I saw these poking out the bottom of the pile. I don't know this brand, Ollie, O-L-L-Y. 
Um, they're not particularly high waisted, so they're a bit lower waist, but they're very nice leather and they're not too stretched out. And they're reasonably long. So yeah, they've got a they've not got a raw edge, they've been turned under. Um they're kind of half line, lined down to around the knee. But I do need to do something because what often happens with leather trousers, people squeeze themselves into them, the button area gets pulled and the inner buttons disappear completely. So I've got to effect a repair on those. So that goes into my repair box, which I had almost emptied. And now it will fill up again, won't it? So, yep, that's for the repair box. Over there. Right, now we move on to dresses, dress type things. And you'll see why I've said that, because mm, this is a dress type thing. And I'm a sucker for a label with a cat on it, clearly. <laughs> Feline designs. Is that why I bought it? Possibly. For 50p, why not? It's actually like a caftani thing, but it's a little bit, a little bit zebra and print vibes going on there. Somebody might um might enjoy that for the summer. I mean, who's going on holiday now? Let's be honest, we don't know what the hell's going on. But to waft around in one at home, at least feel with a cocktail in your hand, I suppose. <laughs> You can't stop buying these things just in case. Oh, sorry, that's just my phone. Put that there. I've got piles of things that might fall over. Embroidery thread. Yeah, I've got some kind of extra thick cotton uh, that works. And I've got leather needles because, of course, you try and use an ordinary needle on leather and it won't go through because they've almost got like a, a honed end. Um, I had them a while back because I had to do some repairs and bought them and they've been a godsend on any really thick fabric. Quite useful for denim and stuff as well. The Sweat Mopper. Wow, I'm not sure I've heard that name before. Hello and welcome. I went to the supermarket at seven o'clock. Oh, oh, oh man. The funny thing is, I think I probably should buy a few more toilet rolls because we haven't got very many. But I, I'm lucky in that I've got a, a b and M, a bum shop, as my son calls it. I've got... And Aldi's and I've got Home Bargains and a Marks and Spencer's food hall sort of literally around the corner so in theory I ought to be able to find something somewhere. I liked the colour of this oh that looks brighter orange than it actually is slightly richer colour it's a dress um it's it's H&M but it's H&M's conscious collection which I quite like because I think that's it's supposed to be a bit more environmentally friendly and if I recycle this that will also be environmentally friendly um yeah Again, it's one of those things that I might not have picked up if I'd been in a charity shop and they'd asked money for it, but at 50p, I figure that, you know, if I'm going to get a tenner back for it, then it's not a loss, whatever happens. All right, things are starting to slip now. This I love, vintage. Do love a bit of vintage clothing. It's tiny. And apparently it's magic. <laughs> it's magic. And it's a vintage 12, which means it's about an eight if that's six to eight um, velvet classic 80s style with the flower at the front, um, you know, just sort of knee length, little bit bodycon, wiggly, wiggly, wiggle dress, wiggly dress. That'd be something completely different, wouldn't it? Ew. So some wee young thing will be able to squeeze themselves into that. I just hope it fits my Edna, my mannequin. Because <laughs> not everything does, and she's only an eight to 10. Oh, there's more chat. Oh, hello, Mum, Five Sons. Hiya. Indy's listing bedding and curtains. There we go. Well, yes, hopefully they will. Maybe sitting and looking at their interior decor day in, day out will inspire them for a change. Hot tea is the cure. I did have tea before I came on. <laughs> We're all saying, drink hot tea. It'll kill anything. Oh. Ah, uh, well, we have trouble keeping up with the chat on the cellar, ladies, because it does it does whiz by. I'm glad you were there. I, I love doing it. It's great fun. They're a great bunch. It's hilarious. Tea with honey in. Yes, a black magic dress. Let's hope so. Yes, well, maybe we can get honey. Now, this is quite revolting. I'm warning you. Revolt factor coming up. But we all know there's a market for this sort of thing. Don't we, Lex? <laughs> it's very slinky. It's an old fashioned, and this is a big size as well. It is pinker than it's looking on, on the camera, but we all know there is a market for these things. Um, 
yes, there's not much I can say about it really. It's it's so old, the label is completely and utterly wiped clean. But again, at 50p a go, some, some soul will want these. Amarulu. Oh, that's what's that drink made from? It's, it's an African fruit, isn't it? I'm not sure I've ever tried it. I like tea and maru in coffee, though. I have to say, curative, restorative properties. So I've got one of those. There was a bit of a run on. Clearly, someone had donated. There's another one. Very similar. It has this sort of padded bit down the top. Quite, quite gross. Even my nan wouldn't wear that. Now, now you say that, Kirsten. <laughs> yes, you'd go up, but you'd go up like <laughs> you certainly would. Um, there, there are there are fellas who, who who quite like to wear this sort of thing and find it quite stimulating, shall we say? <laughs> so hey, you know, I mean, not necessarily. It might just be that there's someone out there who loves this sort of thing and it reminds them of their childhood, but. Yeah, it's, it's mm. <laughs> but hey, you know, each to their own, as Carla would say, you do you, and they'll do they. So, yes, I don't ask questions. <laughs> this goes just there were two of those very similar things, and then I also pick up um, this is kind of like a, a Victorian style, pure cotton. Um, it needs a little repair, I can just see that. Oh, well, does it? No, nah, it's just the seams pulled. I can repair that. A um, little bit of pin tucking, very old fashioned, sort of midi length um, night dress. Uh, there's a lot of people out there who who can only wear cotton, who who cannot wear poly cotton or man made fibres and have real problems with it, and much prefer to wear cotton. Of course, when the label is so worn that you actually can't see what the fabric content is. But that, that very much feels like cotton. And I will look up the brand. Iora. Iora. Lingerie. I wouldn't call that lingerie by any stretch of the imagination. But hey-ho. And there's another one by the same company, which is a sleeveless version of. So just a little sleeveless. I thought it was a dress to start with, but they're so thin. Um, just a little cotton thing. So you know, I might bundle those up. I don't know. The cotton, the cotton things definitely have a different market to the sort of slippery brine nylon. Brentford nylons, who remembers that? <laughs> Certain men, yes. Yes, Le Lex can explain later. <laughs> I don't want to explain, not on a family channel. Uh, oh, you're multitasking. Oh, well done, Karen. I'm glad, you, glad you're feeling a little better now anyway. And um, yeah, crack on, girl. <laughs> We nag you gently, but it all comes from a good place. That's good. I think, you know, I think part of my need and my, my determination to go round, I think I went round at least twice, yeah, going through everything quite carefully, is because I wanted the stock. You know, I want to have something there to list. I'm just going to pop this lot back in the bag and then I will get uh, the last bag. There's one more bag. Actually, no, there's one more bag in a bit. Oops. <laughs> God, it gets heavy. Let's see. Oops. Bear with me for a minute. Well, there's two bags. <laughs> oh, right, okay. Here we go again. <laughs> no, you don't know go gently. Yes, I think I think my nan. No, well, I don't know. Yeah, my nan had some pretty strange tasting things too. Uh, okay, right. We're on to sort of ladies again. This is more sort of lighter weight stuff. I don't know this brand, and it might be a good ear. It might not. Yoek Basic for Box Two. It's a very long name and not terribly catchy. But this is linen, and it's this sort of baggy, saggy, bagpuss type <laughs> Logan look. Just swamp yourself in layers of, I don't, I don't know. Logan look, looks fantastic on some people, and I just look a I look a very messy, thrown together thing if I try and wear anything like that. It just kind of obliterates any shape that you may have, which may be what you want. Oh, I've got another dress here. This one nearly snuck through. This is one of those ones you pick them up and you're like, what are you? <laughs> sort of trying to work out are you the bottom, are you the top? And it turns out. 
that this is a dress by Planet. I think we all know Planet is a fairly good brand. So it's a slightly older clientele. But this is a nice knitted dress, not a heavy knit, just a thin net dress with pockets. Is. It's going to need a debobble. I'm going to be very busy debobbling. I better make sure I've got batteries, haven't I? Going to be busy debobbling this weekend, but that, that cow neck makes it a little more contemporary and yeah, it's a little faded, but like I say, 50p, we're not complaining. Right, let's put that there. I'm running out of places to put things. Now, I nearly lost this at the checkout point. What was amazing about this um, jumble sale is that what you do is you, you sort of fill all your bags and then you go to like a checkout area. And then they just sort of trot it up. But they had, a, they do take payment by card. They had a younger person on board who'd man, it managed this. So I used all my cash the first time around. The second time around, I paid by card on a little machine. And it was like, wow. And then they emailed me a receipt. Who knew? That's <laughs> fantastic. Anyway, I nearly lost this at the checkout because the chap saw this. like, ooh. It's like, yeah, lovely, isn't it? It's a bit mad. It's very festival, you know. Indie, all that sort of thing. Um, I think this is one of the brands that does all right. Ecuador net, knitwear. It's 50% wool, 50% cotton. It's Ecuadorian, obviously, and it has a little hood. So, um, but these buttons on it, I can't, I was thinking, uh, did they come with it? They, they, they're mad. It just seemed kind of very strange and out of kilter. So when I look it up, I'll see, because it might have just had something else on the on the drawstring and they might just put those on just to be eccentric I suppose anyway I quite like that with its stripy madness going on I thought that was quite cool and that's quite a smallish size and that's going to be a uh, right oh well, now this I picked up because I thought I might have it again you know we do this <laughs> do you like it Indy it's just cool isn't it it's had a bit of a now that I'm looking at it in the proper light, I can see it's had a bit of a, I know it doesn't really show up on the camera. There's a bit of colour run that's gone on, but you know what? I don't think anyone's going to care too much. We'll see. I'll, I'll declare that it's, I suspect it's when it got washed. But actually it's crazy enough colours, I don't think it'll matter too much. Bobbles again. Bobbles. Right, this I picked up because I quite liked it. Yes, it's black. No. But it had all this sort of lacing down the side and textured, textured stuff going on here. Slightly distressed looking, as am I. <laughs> Slightly distressed looking. That's how I market myself these days. Um, yeah, I don't know whether I will or not, but we'll see. The brand, I don't know. I picked it up based on style. John H. Something collection. What does that say? 388 collection. And that says extra large. Well, I'm thinking it's not that extra large. I mean, I mean, I'm tall, but I don't think by most people's estimation, I come under the heading of extra large. Cotton and polyester. So we'll see. But I think that's probably just something I might end up wearing as a with leggings or jeans, as I usually do. Oh, right, here we go. I guess we're still on tops. Fantastic. I picked this one up because it was quite a good size and it's it's fairly plain, but you know, people like these. It's almost like a dress actually. I'm not sure what it's meant to be, but it's got all this little lace detail and embroidery on glaze bits and it's a little bit sort of peasanty boho. It's that look that people like. Um couple of loose threads I've got to trim up. Pin tucking, that's the word I'm looking for, this the pin tucking that you get on the on the placket. Getting to know my turns now. This was Marks and Spencer's. It actually says it's a 20. Ah, okay. Yeah, that would be too big for me. Unless you wear them as oversized. Um, they're nice things to have in summer and that's a good size. Uh, and that's cotton again, 100% cotton, which I do tend to look at for. Sorry about this. I just... <laughs> That's like, can I have another current bun, please? Oh, man. Dustiness. <laughs> oh, hello, Andrew. <laughs> Log and don't look. <laughs> visually inspiring name. Yes, <laughs> it very much is. It is a visually inspiring name. It gives you a definite picture. Oh, well done on selling the door handles. 
it's quite fun selling hard goods as well, isn't it? I mean, most of what I've got today is clothing, it's true. But at jumble sales, I tend to go, it may have shrunk a bit, <laughs> possibly. <laughs> I thought this was quite nice. Uh, this is Reese. Now, Reese doesn't do terribly well for me, but I picked it up more based on the style because it's a sort of a... Can you see that? Yeah, it's awesome. I was going to say see-through, that's probably not the word you're looking for. It's a stretchy, it's fairly plain black stretchy top. They've got it as a small one, it is, it is quite small. But I thought, well, we'll give it a go for 50p. It's kind of inoffensive. Yeah, I don't have a huge amount of luck with Reese. I don't know if anyone out there does. But uh, you love a bun. A common bun, please. <laughs> oh, low carb now and breads. <laughs> Yeah, I must be one of the few people that actually isn't terribly bothered by the idea of isolation. Because <laughs> I sort of think, well, I kind of do that anyway. Oops. Oh, no, this was cute as well. Isn't it? Me and little black tops. Again, I quite like this. Oh, that's fun. It's a very boring T-shirt on the front. But the back is this kind of open work, I suppose, is the best way to put it. I, don't, I hope those are my hairs in it. Anyway, I thought that was quite cute. The label is, um, it's one of those anthropology ones. I do remember it, it's actually Aeropostale, um, which as anyone who watches the American Pickers will know that's to do with, um, oh man, uh, to do with anthropology, one of the five gazillion um, brands that they do. Here it is, it's a bit more log and don't look, in a mad color too. <laughs> Bread makes some Dr. Armand. Very creative. Yeah, whiskey is always good. Yeah, well, um, whiskey and I don't agree. <laughs> we do not agree at all. I don't touch whiskey. There we go. It's one of those ones with the big pockets. Is um, it's it's not as lime green as it looks on there. Um, someone's ah now this is what you don't always notice is when someone has they get around with it and actually kind of taken it in a bit. I mean, it's meant to be lager look, right? So. I thought the labels were folded in and then I realised that they they kind of took it in at the neck, which is a strange place to take something in, really. Um, there we go, let's see. A little bit of an undo things we're here, see if we can release it. Sometimes things end up leaving holes and then they're not sellable. Other times you can restore something to its original form and it's much better. Oh, yeah, okay, that's not too bad. Luckily, with something like linen that's got a broad weave, you haven't really got so much of a problem. Yeah. yeah they definitely had a good go at this, though. See who it's by. Oh, this is that box, too, again. Um, that sort of other log and looky thing. Different type of label. Um, I'll have to look it up. Like I say, I've done no... No comps, no looking. You can't. I mean, you just don't when you're in a jumble sale, to be fair, do you? Um, but that's what I quite like is that it really is just the I've discovered new so many new brands and so many sort of little little bolos by taking that punt on something. Whereas I wouldn't tend to do that in a charity shop because the prices don't don't really encourage gambling to that degree. You know, I'm not prepared to gamble on something that costs more than a couple of quid. Right, here we go. If you can hear my son in the background, he's, he's doing a thing called Fun Tech, which is uh, where he's learning about computer programming and stuff. It's not a school thing, it sounds like, there we go, box two. So that's a different label to the other one. But like I say, big baggy log and look, log and don't look, um, as Lex would put it. Now this is a little bit mad. Jones used to staying in bed for days. Oh dear. Mm. I'd quite like the idea of staying in bed for days, but you know, obviously not because of any bad reason. I think we all know this label, don't we? Joseph Rigkoff. And this is meant to be trends, but this is quite leery. And I know that with Joseph Rigkoff, the madder the better. And this is mad as a box of frogs. It's got that slightly animal printy thing going on. It's actually got, ah, oh, you can see there, yeah, the metallic. Lurex look with a nice turned cuff. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a bit mad, but people like Joseph Ribkoff, so if I see it and it's not a stupid price, then I will buy. 
something else I tend to pick up when I see them. Um, I've done all right with them in the past. Just got a loose thread. I can deal with that before it gets on my nerves. Oh, man, loose threads. Oh, yeah, I think, yeah. If the hygiene's not great, you don't really want to be there. Right, these things look like nothing. So I've got a wide neck and a couple of pockets at the front. They're sort of like artist smocks, um, Cornish fisherman's smocks. Um, these aren't new. They've been used. I've actually got two. But there's there's a following for them. The, the, the yachties, the boaties like them. Um, they're, they're just made out of a kind of a thick cotton. There's different brands, and some of the brands go for a lot of money. This just says, what does it say? 100% cotton, 34 chests, so it's a quite a small size. King's House, Nadder Water, Exeter, England. They're usually made down in Cornwall or Devon. This one looks like it hasn't been worn, and these are the bigger size. Just says SX on the front of it. 16, so this might be a ladies' one. They're shapeless. They really are. But they come with pockets on the front. So there's a, there's a following for those. Um, they can be expensive new. That one clearly hasn't been worn. You can just feel the cotton on that. So that might go for a little bit more than the other one. Um, I found one by accident a couple of years ago. Oh, man. And, uh, and it went well. So if I see them, I grab them. Oh, this is a big old lump of cardigan. It's that very sort of, it's a bit greyer than it's coming up on the screen. And although I don't often pick, what's in my pockets? Is, a dried, dried pea. No, thank you. Um, this is a big, open style, cardigan-y, jacket-y thing with pockets is. It's cotton, it's quite heavy, but it is fat face. Um, and it's a size, it's size 16. So these sort of things are, you know, they're still popular. I wouldn't want to pay a lot of money for it, but because they're everywhere on, on, the, on eBay. But hey, hey, obviously they take quite a lot of room up in stores. I do all those jackets now. I don't know what I'm going to do with those. I just got round to reorganising my my stock garage, and now I'm going to have a whole shed load of new more stuff to put in. So yeah, let's put that to one side because I might try that for me. Oh man! Okay, so that's those, and then you're going to get very bored with this. I've basically got cashmere, and cashmere, and cashmere. You're going to lock up and go home. Yeah, I don't blame you, Kirsten. If it, you know, it's, yeah, dried pea, how lovely. Well, a dried pea, not dried pea. No, it wasn't a nose booger. No, it wasn't, Craig. <laughs> well, now I'm not going to, to, to investigate further. <laughs> oh, these look a very old colour. They're actually a really nice, bright, turquoisey, tealy sort of colour. And they look foul in, the cam in this light. How bizarre. Um, there's two bits here because I think this would have come as a twin set, although I don't think twin sets sell. Uh, this is El Corte Inglés, which is the Spanish big department store, 100% cashmere, haven't seen any holes. There's a jumper and a cardigan. So that will need debobbling. Like I say, everything here was 50p. So my cashmere stash for, for next year is pretty much sorted, I think, now. That's what I haven't sold this year. And the cashmere has tanked a bit. So, hey ho. But decent brands. This is pure collection. I think that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can I actually show you? There we go. Oh, man. I, that hand. <laughs> that hand. I'm so bad at the back to fronty. Pure collection. 100% pure cashmere. This was nice. I like the style of this. This will sell quite quickly because it's sort of a wrap over. There we go. There's the neck and it's got this sort of wrap over front on it. So it's kind of a cross between a cardigan and a jumper. I really like that. And it's in a beautiful, not quite a cobalt blue, but a really nice royal blue. So that was a really good find. Oh, whoa. It does make me itch. More. You will get bored of this. 
Yes. Ew, Greg. Ew. Not usually bothered about picking up Lauren Ralph Lauren, but it was 100% cashmere. Polo neck seems to be slightly more popular than not polo neck. And this is a, a not sleeve length, I would say. It's kind of just below your elbow. It's got all length sleeve, um, grey. That, that cashmere feels better than the other cashmere. There's cashmere and there's, oh, cashmere. So that's super quality. I mean, we really are going for a cashmere extravaganza. So things are falling. This is that sort of blushy pink that was was kind of hot a little while ago. Someone will st probably still like it because this is a rather lovely open cardigan. With pockets. Is. It's pinker than it's looking there. <laughs> it's funny what the camera does to colours. Well, we all know that from trying to photograph the damn things. So, yeah, dusky pink, they're calling that. Dusky pink in a size 12. But, you know, cashmere is very good even in the summer, especially on our cooler evenings. So I don't really see why it would stop selling. This is a fail. This is cashmere. It's not quite as bright as it looks on there, but it's not far off. I grabbed it because it's roll neck. Um, it didn't seem to be branded. It just says 100% cashmere. But what I didn't notice until I've gotten home is it's actually got holes all over it that have been repaired. Maybe someone will want it for crafting. It's such a sort of big bird, mad, bright yellow colour. Um, I don't know if it's a man's or a woman's actually, thinking about it. X, XL, well, that's a woman's then, isn't it, if it's an XL? Um, yeah, hey, you know, that's me picking something up on the basis of, oh my God, what a colour. Oh, this one isn't cashmere, but it's Jaeger. It's a thin knit. And Jaeger has its following. It's a thin knit, basic, basic jumper. It's probably, I don't know what it's made out of. It felt nice. And I do just go by the feels. 100% wool, but it, it may be merino or something like that. It's very fine knit, which would be perfect for spring come summer. <laughs> onwards, onwards, onwards. It's the cardigan. It is cashmere again. It's going to need a lot of debobbling. It's funny because now I'm sitting here looking at them in front of the light. I'm sort of scouring them for holes. That That's a different pure label. I'm assuming that might be an older label. 100% cashmere. That's the size 20, though, and I know the bigger sizes in cashmere do very well. So, you know, I'll still list them. I'm not going to hold them back or not list them for a while. Pink. Not my flavour at all. And I can see a hole. I've seen a hell. That is. Something has munched. This is M&S collection. It's cardigan. I don't think there's any other hole, so I will repair it and then sell it with declared repair. I think I've got the right colour pink thread, actually. I should be able to do it. And it's not shrunk or anything. It's quite nice. And it's not missing any buttons. Yay. What size is this thing? It's a good size, it's worth it. It's a 14, so I, again, I think it's, it's worth it with slightly bigger sizes. Still, no, this is the last piece of cashmere. You'd be relieved to know. I did get loads, didn't I? 50p an item. I mean, even if you sold them for a tenner each, which I wouldn't, I like to sell cashmere for more than that. Mm -hmm. Not bad at all. Now, this one is El Corte Inglés again, which is that Spanish shop. 48, so is this... So is that meant to be a man's 48? Is that a man's sleeve length? No, I think it's a woman's. Look at the debobbling though. I mean, seriously. When you get that much, it's almost easy to do it by hand. Um, yeah, it's quite cute. Nice beige neutral one. Lovely, lovely soft cashmere. Um, don't know much about this brand though. It, it's a department store that has its own label. And that is 100% cashmere, so... Yeah, that's all good. I don't think there's any owls. Nice sort of cable knit there. Oh, man. And the last jumper was this one, and I picked it up. It's It's got Angora in it, and I do check, but I thought, oh, sparklies. Someone will quite like that. It's not too thick and heavy again. Um, 
Polka dots are a bit of a thing again, aren't they? This is white stuff. Again, I don't tend to pick up very much white stuff these days because it's it really has kind of had its match. But this was a big size as well. It says it's a 20. I'm not entirely sure that it's quite a 20, but um, obviously I put all the measurements in. Right, let me get these out of the way for the, the sneezing ab dabs. I told you there was a lot though. New stock. I know. My little heart gets excited. That needs repairing. Whoops. Um, I get very excited. Love, love, love. Treasure hunting. It's the best thing. And just the joy of being there today and going through all of these clothes without being elbow jostled, crushed. You know, and it made it so much easier. I mean, bless them for running it, really, but they obviously had so much stuff they kind of had to. I know they were going to do a, you know, 10 p and I sort of clear out at the end, but I, I felt I'd had enough and it was somebody else's turn. It's <laughs> Shirley, yes. Oh, hello, Shirley. Cashmere. Um, lots of pieces of cashmere. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Nine cashmere jumpers. <laughs> All for 50p each. <laughs> I'm not starting again. Truly, I'm not. I'm not starting again, but I have got a bit more to go. Bear with me, thank you. Right, where are we? The last bag. The last bag. It was literally a case of I took two big IKEA bags and a little bag. And I filled the two big IKEA bags up and I had to go and literally empty one of them out so that I could go back in again. The cashmere queen. Well, I've always done cashmere, but when I find it that cheap, you know, I won't pay more than three pounds for a piece of cashmere anyway, at the best of times. The potter princess, indeed. And what would we do without IKEA bags? The ones I use um, in the garage for my stock is when I bagged it all up, labelled it, I literally put it in the, the fractor bags, which are the big IKEA bags that have the big zip. And believe me, when you get one of those full of, of trousers or skirts or something, they weigh a effing ton and I've got them stacked four high. So I get my kind of I get my kind of load bearing exercise by hefting those about. Why are you, Craig? <laughs> How lovely. <laughs> Indeed. It is amazing pricing. They had literally the big jackets that you'll you'll see if you go back and wash at the beginning were all a pound each. Um, and it was 50p for smaller items. There are a couple of exceptions to that because they had bric-a-brac and shoes and various things that were a pay-as-you-go thing, but the clothes, it was all tallied up at the end. Now, you might like this one, Shirley. I saw it and I think of you, because uh, you introduced me to, to Musto. Um, it needs a little bit of a spruce up. It's come with three bones here, which could be mine to be fair. <laughs> My hair gets everywhere. <laughs> That's not news, Craig. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Oh, hello, Vicky, the toy holder. <laughs> so, yeah, it's 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 a Musto jacket, and it's in pretty fair neck. They have the chunkiest zips ever, don't they, Musto? Absolutely honking great zips. <laughs> so I did check it worked before I bought it. But given it cost me a pound, I wasn't really going to complain. It's all... The problem is... I've got to go and debobble and deal with the inners because it's that thick fleece stuff. I'm just ferreting around in the carriage just to see if it will tell me what it is. Oh, it's got an inside pocket as well. Another opportunity for tissues. Because that's what we normally find in there, isn't it? Right, what's it telling me? It's something for them to write their name. Nylon outer polyester insulation. This is this has been, you know, well loved. It's definitely been well used. Uh, I guess I can try and find out what the model of it is. Uh, somewhere, because it's not going to tell me. But it's got very thick fleecy lining. So I was quite pleased with that because I figured I might have to give it a wash or something. But and take the stuff out of the out of the velcro if we're allowed to say that, which we're not. Um, right, let's put that there. My tidy office is no longer tidy. <laughs> Just filled everything up. 
hardcore sailing. Ah, yes, of course. And sailing is is not in my area of knowledge at all. Um, I am. I won't say I'm a land lover exactly, but I'm quite happy on on the waterways of England, on the canals and things, but not actual open water. Mm. And it's hoodies with it. I was thinking that's a very full pocket if that's full of tissues. Yeah, that looks like it's hood, which is good because they don't always come with that. So that's lovely. That was in one pocket along with 5p. Profit. You never know when you're going to need 5p when you're out on the high seas. No, it's just not much on the rest, so I'm quite pleased with that. Uh, again, these these things do sell, albeit somewhat slowly, but this is a very big man's leather, longer line coat jacket. It's got lining, which is nice. It's all in very good order. I mean, it's not a particular brand, I don't think, that's super popular. Inner pockets now. I, what that's for. I wish they'd do that on women's jackets, have inner pockets. It's like we have things we need to carry in store as well. This is very much, I suppose it's kind of 90s. It's just nice thick leather. There isn't a thing wrong with it. And I like I like selling these sort of things. They do take a while to go, but they need to have an extra life. They don't shouldn't end up in landfill. And that's a quite a big size too. That's that's quite a big fella who's going to want that one. Let's hope. Oh, excuse me. Gosh. Dust. <laughs> Dust. Right. Oh, and again, Shelley, thinking of you. <laughs> car coat. Yes, I suppose that's what one could call it. Could be a car coat. Uh, this was a barber yeah, shirt. It's got the tabs, so you can roll it up as well. Oh, the shirt. I don't pick up loads of shirt, these shirts these days. I'm very, I'm pretty picky, <laughs> she says. The next one's a big fail, but um, I thought I'd have that. It's in a quite inoffensive design. The this one I grabbed because of the label, and I didn't notice the fact that it's it's shopped pieces. It's It's got wear. Um, Turnbull and Asa. But that is actually a, a good brand if you find it, but not when it's ripped, not when it's just been worn. Two pieces, which is what this has. So that's a bit of a sad fail. I wasn't paying it. God, what have they done to that? Seriously. It's good, but it's good that it's been worn properly and it will go get ragged. So that was a fail, but it was only 50p. And the other one I picked up was a, was a Ted Baker Endurance shirt because it looks, it really does look like it, although it's creased, it really hasn't, it's got no wear, it's got that lovely soft feel to it. And it came with its very own cufflinks, Ted Baker cufflinks, which have got, yeah, they've got Ted Baker endurance on them. So somebody will need a posh shirt to go to a wedding or something in, won't they? I'm not sure people wear all this sort of stuff much anymore. But again, for 50p, I don't mind. It's going to be a few quid in it. Right, we really are. The end is in sight. Yeah, exactly. Well, I've had two things that I would say are fails. So, what's that, a pound? Yeah. For what I'm going to make on this lot, it, it's worth it. It's kind of a calculated gamble. And to be honest, I've had things from charity shops and from my flea market that I've gone, oh, jeez. And there's something wrong with it. This I picked up. I know the ski season is that's very much over now, isn't it, really? But It'll come back again. I liked it because it wasn't plain. It's kind of that sort of snowboard, very much a snowboard sort of look. I think it's, it is a man's one. It's got the longer sleeves. It's got this sort of nice liner inside it and it's ACG. Mm -hmm. I've got an inner layer and an outer, a thermal layer, XXL. Um, it looked like it had some quality about it. ACG is ACG. Yeah, excuse my phone going off. So, yeah, it may, it's probably not going to go anywhere now. But 
school season will come back again soon enough. So I don't mind grabbing them, especially when they're not expensive. I do, I've done quite well out of them in the past. Oh, man. This, it looks like an ordinary jumper, but it's got the wind stopper lining. So this is often people who wear, play golf and things like that are out and about. The brand here is Den, Den Bai, Den B. Um, made in England, so that one's probably been to. I like the colour, it's, it's just a nice berry sort of colour. Um, it's a good big size. Sorry, I'm just hearing noises off. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's, it's wool on the outside. So it's actually a reasonably good quality item. And uh, I do reckon uh, it has got signs of moths there, but maybe I can repair, just repair that a little bit. Still do someone a good turn. And this I picked up because of the name, and I'm really not sure that it will sell. Um, this, is, this is a very expensive brand, I think. From what I remember, unless I'm confusing it with something else, Jane Barnes. Um, but it's just a waistcoat, and it's in that very, uh, the style isn't particularly good, so that might turn out to be a bit of a fail, but the label is good. I think it's a man's. I can't be absolutely sure. I'm pretty sure it is, though. This had me very confused. But when I saw the label, I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm having that. Escada. Mar Margarita Lay. So that's quite vintage, but it, it's in the most beautiful moleskin. Look, that were breasted. Oh, it's fabulous, but it's got a big collar on it and really crazy buttons. And I think, is this a man's or a woman's? Again, I think it's a woman's because it goes that way. But there's no kind of, well, yeah, there's a little bit of shaping to it, but not much. It really has got these. Sort of crazy fuck of buttons there, look, <laughs> just amazing. All metal. Um, if it is a woman's, which I'm thinking it must be, the lining is, oh, it all just feels so lovely. You know, right, that's cost me a pound, but I, uh, I've got a feeling that is a lady's. It's almost like sort of moleskin, it's that very soft feel. I check the label, it might actually tell me a bit more. It was in the men's section. But then that, that can happen, can't it? 100% cashmere. That's why it feels so soft. My son's got a friend around. That's why there's noises off. So it's cash, pure cashmere, the whole thing. Oh, my God. I did not realise it was that good. I knew it was good. I could just tell from the feel. I have to look that one up. It's going to get me excited. I tend to go by feel. It is just what it feels like it's nice. In fact, the inside, that's probably a silk lining. Oh. Right, now we're done with clothes. Oh gosh, have I been ignoring people? I have, haven't I? Racing through like a runaway train. Who have we got here? <laughs> oh, you're done with your parcels, Jason. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll do mine. Pick mine up uh, tomorrow evening to post Monday morning. Oh, hello, David. Hope you're well. It's a bit lush, isn't it? Yeah, I'm very um very fond of that. It's, I think it must be quite a big size though. It's a bit gutting. I mean, it's double breasted, but yeah, that's quite a size. Okay, so moving off for clothes. Jelly once again. This is a tapestry, and it's the Bayou tapestry. Hello, I'm live on YouTube. I'm live on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> that's, just a, that's going in there. Have you got yes, absolutely. Yeah. I'm yeah. showing everyone my, my things. This jacket I picked up is 100% cashmere. Mm. It's a ladies when it was in the men's section. It's my husband, Nigel. Oh, it feels nicer. <laughs> they can't see, see it. Anyway. They can, they can just about see you there. Let's <laughs> see about half of your face. <laughs> yeah, so this, this is a new tapestry kit. Um, I paid a pound fifty for that. It was sort of on their new as you go in stall. And I kind of thought, you know what, there's probably some money in that. I should just pay up. So I did. Then for one pound, I picked up a pair of hotter, hotter little. I don't get hotters very often anymore, but when they're a pound, 
um, you know, next to nowhere, literally indoor worn only, as can be the case with these things. Um, a little bit of creasing on the sole, on the fronts. So rub that off with the magic eraser or what have you. But they're nice, they're, they're suede, they feel really nice. Nice quality. And then I picked up three little belts because I do like picking up belts, especially the plaited leather variety, which seem to have a following. I think this is probably Marks and Spencer's, but it's a bit hard to tell. That's a thinner one. Then I picked up a thicker one. Um, this is an accessorise and it's in a bigger size and they are leather. Um, the uh, wide belts seem to be you know, quite popular. That's a suede one that I quite liked. I don't know if it come off a coat or something. I wasn't entirely sure because there was no, there wasn't any branding with it, but it could be useful for something. And last, they did have some jewellery there, Lex, but not a whole great deal. <laughs> I picked this up because it, it, it is vintage. It has this, but now, I've got to look into this, but I can't get the clasp to work. It has this sort of, I know there's a name for this. Is it a box clasp? Something like that. So I've got to try and work out what's what's not occurring now, what I've done wrong. In fact, I should try and have a look because there is something written on the back of it. <laughs> oh. oh, more comments. Is this what happens? There's more comments coming on and I ignore them. Oh, oh hi Kelly. Oh, you've missed it all, actually, but you're going to have to go back and watch again. What does that say? My eyes are fairly good, but they're not. I'm not sure I can make it out even with this. Hong Kong. <laughs> so it is vintage, but um, it's it's a plastic. It's not it's not a stone. It is. It's too warm. I do that because it, it's warm. Hong Kong, yes. <laughs> But I think it's because I'm drawn to things in green. It'll sort of hold done up if I do it that way around, but then not properly. I need to see if I can do something with that. And I did pay a pound for that. That was the first thing I bought when I went in. So that was to kind of break the, you know how you have to buy something first to get yourself in the swing? You were right, yes. Well, <laughs> it's your expertise. But I think that was, that was kind of pretty. And it's all variegated stones with little stations between. Um, yeah, I don't know if I can actually fix that, though. But never mind. Very lightweight. Very lightweight indeed. But that was my magpie side of things drawn to something because it was pretty. Well, there you have it. That was my £42 of spend. I'm going to research this because it feels incredible. Um, I'm itching to find out what that's worth. Escalda. I did sell an Escada suit. It was very 1980s with sharp shoulders and nipped in waist pencil skirt. And that was that was just beautiful. It's the fact that everything's made so well. You know, it's kind of quality. You can spot a mile off. Oh, God. Fucking bad. My room is going to be a mess for quite some time. I try and put things in order so that when I photograph them, all the photographs are in order. And then when I'm drafting and measuring, I'm doing the same thing after the same thing. It just makes it a bit more efficient and a bit less chaotic. I have to remember it's sailing. That's what it's sailing. And that's a fail. So, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much everything. Oh, that's out there. That's real. There we go. Oh, God, I'm exhausted now. That has got to be the best jumble sale I've been to in a, quite a while. Uh, I felt very thankful and very lucky to have, to have gotten there. Um, I haven't counted up how many items, but that's got to be... That's more than a week's worth of, of um, listings right there. I tend to list about seven a day, new ones, seven a day. So it's about 50 a week. Um, there's got to be more than 50 there. I mean, there were nearly 10 jumpers, never mind everything else. Um, so, yeah. Oh, bye, David. He's off. <laughs> what a haul. So, yeah, I would say to anyone, if you can get out, now's the time to do it because 
we may not be able to. Here on in, I'm very much on a mission for sourcing next week because I feel fairly up to date with most other things. I can I can spend the time sourcing. My scheduling is sort of taken care of for the next week, um, and literally just get my stocks up so that I've got things ready to list and ready to go with. So um, yeah, cool. So thank you so much for joining me. Uh, it's amazing to see you all here. Great fun. Um, and I hope you guys have as good a pickings as I got. <laughs> so I will chat to you all later and no doubt be in conversation with you all later in the week. So keep well and stay happy. I'm going to try and leave now, but it, it takes a while, doesn't it? We, we do this end broadcast <laughs> got that wrong didn't i bye yes goodbye <laughs>